my name is Nick Vujicic and uh, I'm from Australia and uh, this morning I want to share with you my testimony as to how God has given me grace, strength and comfort through my disability and how you can have victory, peace and joy in your life even if circumstances are still present in your life that don't make sense or cause your world to turn upside down. Six says with nothing is impossible wow. but I've never had anybody that can match your power of affirming that Bible verse no, nobody can match you nobody else has been through this you know what a lot of people say Nick I can never imagine what you've gone through or you're the most inspirational story or something like that and I take that to heart I praise God for the inspiration that I am to the world but it's not to say that there's someone else out there going through pain see we all are denying ourselves and taking up our cross we all know how it feels to be lonely or broken and uh, the thing is this is I could look at you and I say you know what maybe the things that you've gone through may be worse than I have and you're thinking no 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 I, I could never imagine myself without arms and legs see we can't and we should not compare sufferings but this is what we do as a family of God come Just together stop, stop. Sorry. repeat that we should not compare sufferings that's a great concept it's a great line what we do is we come together as a family of God hand in hand holding your hand metaphorically speaking yes yeah and then together coming and standing upon the promises of God knowing that no matter who you are no matter what you're going through, that God knows it, He's with you, He's going to pull you through. I'm, I'm just an empty vessel. That's all I am. It's not about me. It's not about my achievements. It's not about what I can do and what I can't do. But it's who I've become by the power of Jesus Christ. That's the message. Yeah. So. You're 24 years old? Correct. Were there some very, very low times, and how did you get through them? My, one of my lowest times, I do remember, was when I was eight years old. Hmm. I don't know if you know this, but I actually grew up in a Christian home, yes. and 11 months. My father months, was a pastor. My father was a pastor. Still, still is, maybe. Still is a pastor. 
mm. praise God. Um, they actually planted a church 11 months before I was born. And it was very difficult as a pastor's son to go to church uh, at times, not because I'm tired or anything, but it was because I went to Sunday school and learned that Jesus loves me and that I'm wonderfully and fearfully made. But I got angry at God. I said, I don't understand this. In eight, age 8, I read Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. He says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. I said, God, what kind of hope and future do I have? I never thought I'd ever get a job. I went to school. A lot of kids teased me. I had a very good couple of friends that helped me through that. And my family, I, I, I praise God for the parents and family I have. Without them, I, I know I wouldn't be here, but God's used them in a powerful way. But let me just say this, that I wanted to end my life. I didn't see a future or hope. I never thought I'd get married. I said, God, even if I ever did get married, I can't even hold my wife's hand. I won't be able to dance with my bride on our wedding night. When we have children, how am I going to put my arms around my kids when they're crying? These things were important to me and no one could tell me that everything was going to be okay. And even if they did, I can't believe them. There's two things in life that we want to hear as human beings. First of all, that we're loved. Second of all, everything is going to be okay. And the greatest thing that God has given me is his love. To know that he does love me. And when there are things that happen in my life that I don't understand, and in your life, when things happen in your life and you don't understand the purpose, the question is this, is God worthy of your thanks? Is God still worthy of your praises? A lot of people say that verse, you know, the joy of the Lord is my strength. What does that mean? What is your joy? Why can you rejoice always? Because the joy of having Jesus Christ loving you so much that he died for my sin, he's given me salvation. This life here is temporary. But you know what? I love the fact that that is the greatest joy of all having Jesus Christ in my life and living the godly purpose he has for me and I can be thankful I thank God I thank God he said no when I asked him for for arms and legs did you I, I did I pleaded with God God give me arms and legs I cried myself to sleep that night I was hoping that when I'd wake up in the morning that I'd have arms and legs I thought it'd be a great miracle I mean imagine right now if God gave me arms and legs, we're on TV. How many people wouldn't believe that miracle? But I stand before you today as a miracle of God. To prove to everybody a pure example of God's grace, love, and perfection. <laughs> to know that I am the miracle. We are more than conquerors. Circumstances do not have to change for you to become victorious. It's our heart that needs to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Wow.